this question is a good example of a situation where we can get a lot of information out of what seems like not a lot of information when we're working with ratios. So the question here is going to be exactly how much information do we need? Once we get the relative ratios, are we going to be able to tell what the scaling factor is in the ratios and are we going to be able to apply that to find the actual radio budget? Now I'm using a few technical terms here, but I'll explain this all as we go through the video. So let's take a look at the question now. A certain company divides its total advertising budget into television, radio, newspaper, and magazine budgets in the ratio of 8 to 7 to 3 to 2 respectively. How many dollars are in the radio budget? Statement 1. The television budget is 18750 more than the newspaper budget. Statement 2. The magazine budget is $7,500. Let's start with just looking at the question stem. The first thing to do with the ratio question is just to put in the scaling factor. And what I mean by that is just make this 8x to 7x to 3x to 2x. And just be clear about what each of these are. That's television to radio to newspaper to magazine. Let's then look at the statement. So the television budget is 18,750 more than the newspaper budget. So what we're looking at here is simply 8x minus 3x, so that's television minus newspaper, is 5x, and that's going to be 18,750. So if 5x equals 18,750, then we can get x. We don't need to actually go any farther than this. We see that we can get x, we can get the scaling factor, that is. So then if we wanted to find the newspaper budget, we just put x into 3x here, and that would give us the answer. So that is sufficient. Statement two, the magazine budget is $7,500. $7,500. We get x, that's good enough. We can go back from x, plug into 3x, we get the answer, that works. So both of the statements are sufficient. The answer is definitely D here. If you really wanna take the information that we've been given and answer the question, if you really want to take the information that we've been given and answer the question, which I would suggest you do in practice, but please don't do this in the actual test. We've already got the answer, so don't kill it again by trying to figure out what the actual value of 3x is. I would take the x, okay? So we know from here, that's easier to calculate. The x is 3750, and we're looking for 3x, so that's going to be 9,000 plus 2250, so that's 1150 is 3x and that will be the answer for the newspaper budget. Still, and it bears repeating, please realize that once you have the x, or you have a way even to solve for what x is, that's enough to answer this question. So don't overstep and do more work than necessary. If you like this video, if you found it useful, the best way to support the channel is to click like or subscribe and check out our other videos. There are quite a few videos that you can watch that will be helpful for you in your GMAT journey. And if you're interested, we're offering a free 52-page rates guide. You'll find the link in the text below the video. And you'll also find a link to some of the other videos in the top right-hand corner. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.